Hey folks, my name is Jeff, and in today's video, I wanna do an introduction to a new series. This is going to be a series where we create a full stack application. We're going to do the front end, the back end, and the database. And at the end of the series, we're going to have a full working application. First, let's talk about what this series is going to be about and what the goals of this series are going to be. And one of my main goals for this series is going to be to teach you guys what I know about software development and for me to learn some new things about software development along the way. I've been a software developer since 2008, and so I wanna share some of my knowledge, but I also want to share the things that I'm learning along the way. Another main goal is I want you guys to be able to follow along with me. I will be putting all of my code into GitHub so you can follow along with all of these videos. And by the time the series is done, you can also use the app if you would like. I also want to show design concepts that can be applied to whether you are a hobbyist and working on your own, if you're part of a small startup team, or even if you're in a big enterprise. And part of that is going to be by showing the iterative process of developing this full stack application. And I wanna start with what are the requirements of this application and how do we start with a small working minimum viable product or MVP. And of course, I want to show all aspects of the development process along the way. Like I said, we're going to talk about the requirements and needs of the application. We're gonna look at the high level architecture of the overall system. Most of the videos will be about the development process and me programming it along the way. And then of course, database design as well. So what are we gonna build? I wanna build a blog because I want to hopefully replace the blog that I currently have. I don't blog as much as I probably should, and my blog is currently hosted by WordPress, and I'm honestly kind of tired of paying them to host it for me. So I wanna see how hard it would be to create a blog and move most of my blog posts into my new system. Now, what are the requirements for this blog? Well, I think that one of the most important parts of a blog is that people need to find it. And because of that, search engines need to be able to index it. And therefore, it needs to be SEO friendly, which means we need server-side rendering. Another requirement will be authentication so that I can log into my blog and I can create a new post if I would like. Or in the future, I could also grant other people the ability to write on my blog as well. And since I already have a blog written and I know what are in those blog posts, I know that there's a few things I need to have, which are code blocks, inline code, images, and I want to be able to embed a YouTube player inside of it as well. Because one of the goals for my blog is to redirect traffic to my YouTube page. And the last requirement I have is that people can put in comments. I think this is a good place to start. Like I said, this may change a little bit because as we get through the development process, some of the requirements might change, but for now, this is a great place to start. And now that we know all of this, what is our MVP or minimum viable product? And this might be different for everybody, but for me, an MVP means that I can open up my project, like the actual code, I can create a new page, and I can deploy it to a VM somewhere in the cloud. And of course, it must be SEO friendly, so when you go to a page, you're going to get back all of the HTML. And as part of that statically rendered page, I want to be able to have code blocks, inline code, embedded YouTube videos, and images. And since this MVP is pretty small in terms of the scope of requirements, we're not going to need authentication and we won't need a database. And by doing that, hopefully we can get something up and running very quickly. And now that we know what the product is, how are we going to build it? The tech stack that I'm going to use is going to be Blazor version eight. And the reason for that is there's a bunch of new features in Blazor eight that I wanna learn. It has server-side rendering, so that will create static pages for us. Another reason is we can have all of our front-end code and back-end code in the same project. And last but not least, it's mostly what I know. In my day job, I'm a .NET developer, so I know the backend code very well with any framework. And I also know Blazor WebAssembly really well, but I don't know the Blazor server stuff quite as much. So this is going to be a bit of a learning process for me along the way. And since Blazor is a full stack option for our backend code to get stuff from the database, we're going to use Entity Framework. I'm a big fan of Tailwind CSS, so we're gonna use that. For the database, I'm going to use Postgres. And I haven't decided for sure where we're going to deploy this, but it's most likely going to be a very small or even free virtual machine. This will be the first time I've done a series on this YouTube channel. Let me know in the comments down below if you think this is a great idea. I hope you do, because I'm pretty excited about this. I've had a few people in the comments ask me about Blazor, so I'm hoping there's some demand for this type of video. So stick around, I'll have a video out shortly on how to get started with this application. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.